It's a terrible feeling when you want to be a part of something, but you're not allowed to. Not everything should require parental consent. To get this pandemic over with, teens must be a part of the conversation. I want the vaccine so I can protect myself at school because there's so many people, but I also want to protect others who might not be able to get the vaccine. I just want to protect them and I want to protect myself. They don't listen to what I have to say about my own health. They tell me that I'm stupid. I cry a lot. It hurts a lot to hear it from your family. We hear from teenagers all over the world. So there were some in the UK, some in Australia. They're mainly frustrated and sad that they can't get through to their parents. My mom's scared of the vaccine. I need help to reach her. My mum doesn't listen to me when I give her facts about COVID. I'm 16, but have never been vaccinated in my life. It kills me because I know they are wrong. They tried to convince them, they tried to talk to them, nothing works. We are in the trenches helping teens and parents get trusted information about vaccines and deplatforming those who are actively trying to spread this information. A shoulder to lean on. That's what it is. Let's do it, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The work that you were doing is so, so important. So thank you so much for that. Teens need to start speaking up. The fact that we're not even heard in discussions about our own health, about our own, about laws that affect us, it, it makes me furious to see that this is allowed to go on. For under 16-year-olds, it's about whether or not they are Gillick competent. What that means is that they understand the nature of the treatment being proposed and they understand the consequences of having that treatment and the consequences. year olds it's about whether or not they are Gillick competent. What that means is that they understand the nature of the treatment being proposed and they understand the consequences of having that treatment and the consequences of refusing that treatment. Gillick competency is not a rule, it's a starting point. It may not be that they can necessarily have the treatment if their parents are opposed to treatment. Um, some cases may well end up in court, but I would anticipate even if those cases end up in court, it will only be at the start of the rollout and then it would settle down 